Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Today, we're going to interface WinLink with sound modem so we can send email through the packet network. How cool is that? We'll be able to send an email off the system to somebody on the internet without being hooked to the internet. This is great for emergency communications. Now, I'll remind you that you are using amateur frequencies and your amateur license restrictions do apply. So you can't do any kind of business stuff or anything that gains you any kind of reward. But think of the advantage of this in a situation where you've just had a disaster and you want to get some info to your family out of state. Uh, if you're able to make a packet connection, you're in like Flint. So with no further ado, oh, wait, before I start that video, do me a favor, click subscribe down there. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get WinLink and Sound Modem talking. So I'm going to launch the WinLink program, and I'm going to go first to where the uh, session options are, and I'm going to select Packet WinLink. Now, I know you haven't configured it yet, but we got to select it in order to configure it. I'm going to go ahead and open my session, and it says Packet WinLink, and it says, oh, I failed terribly, so we're going to fix that. I am going to go ahead and go into Settings, and for the Packet TNC type, I'm going to say KISS. Now, that is really important. Don't look for sound modem. You're going to configure this as KISS. And then the packet TNC model is ACT mode. And that just means acknowledgement mode. It's not even really a model. So they're kind of reusing some of these um, descriptions for something that it really isn't designed for. Under our serial port setting, we're not going to select a serial port. We're just going to select TCP. And it should default to 127.0.0.1 and port 8100. If it doesn't, fix that, okay? Now, also, if I look over here, right, I'm looking at all the settings. The defaults are fine. And I just want to make sure that an able eye poll is set. The last thing I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this last thing, but I do it because it just makes it easier. I don't have to think ahead. I'm going to select Browse. I'm going to go to my local C drive, and I installed Sound Modem where? In the Sound Modem directory I created in the other video. And I'm just going to select the Sound Modem executable, and I'm going to say Automatically Launch Packet Sound Modem when I launch this protocol. I'm going to click update, and boom, look, my sound modem came up. Now, there's a couple things I got to do. First off, I got to make sure that I have the latest list of channels for packet. So I'm going to do update table via internet, and it's going to update this table. I've got one that is basically uh, nine miles away from me. I will double click it and it will go right in here. Now, if I needed to go through a Digipeter or something like that, I could select it over here uh, and add Digipeters. Uh, I'm close enough, I think I can go direct with this guy. And uh, also, you know what? I can even do scripts, which is cool. I can write, uh, write a script basically to connect. Right, so there's more about that on the uh, WinLink manual. I encourage you to check it out. It's kind of beyond the uh, scope of this video. But let's switch this back to direct. Now, I had to make sure also, see, this is a two meter and it's hooked to my two meter radio. So I have to go ahead though and I've got to change my frequency on my two meter radio to that frequency, which is 145. Dot 050, which I've got right here. And let's go ahead and double click that again. And of course, I want to make sure that I'm running enough power to reach him and I don't have like my squelch too high. And just want to get everything configured and set up on the radio before we start. And I'm set to go with that. But you know what? 
I want to send an email. So let me go ahead and I'm going to select uh, create an email over here. And I'm going to send it to the internet. So let's send it to my internet address, which is stu at ag6ag.org. And we'll just say test message. And thanks for the test, Stu. And I, this is going to be a WinLink message. I'm going to post it to my outbox so I have something to send. Now let's go back to our packet WinLink. And again, here's Win uh, or Sound Modem. And I'm going to go ahead and start the session. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Oop. It's connected. That's a good indication there. Oh, they're communicating. I'm telling it I've got an email to send. There, it. I just sent it. One message sent. And there we go, disconnecting. And once it says that it's disconnected, I can go ahead and close this. Now, I will actually receive that email. So this is really cool. Think about it. You're able to send internet. Oh, and there's my email. Just came in on my phone. So think about it. In an emergency, your internet's out or whatever, you want to get an email out. Maybe, uh, you know, the internet's up in a neighboring community where you can get a packet connection through. What do you do? Ah, send an email to your family that lives far away in another state or another part of your state. Tell them you're okay, you know, because if the internet's down, guess what, guys? Our cell network and our phones are probably down, too. This also allows you to be a hero in your neighborhood after an earthquake or a disaster if you can get yourself set up on emergency power. Uh, and plus, there's protocols to connect to your radio on HF. And we're going to go into that real soon in the future on how to set up to use HF and actually send the email if required as far as another state to get onto the internet for those health and welfare messages. So hope to show you that real soon. Anyway, with that, thanks so much. This is Stu, AG6AG. Hey, was that cool or what? Very easy to do. I mean, you've already done the heavy lifting in the previous video getting sound modem set up. Uh, making an interface is just knowing the right little knobs to twi twist. So I think we got that for you. Anyway, hey, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to make them in the comments. And I will answer them in the comments so they will become part of this tutorial. Thank you so much. This is Stu, AG6AG. Hope to hear you out on the air.